everyone, I'm TH Pine and welcome to Pine's Primal Perception. Today I'm gonna share my very first experience with Filthy Lucre, or however you pronounce that. I think that's correct, not sure. So this seems to be an action stealth game, uh, which you can play either single player or co-op with others. And uh, it's gonna release on the 12th of December, so this is a preview build. And um, yeah, let's let's take a look, shall we? So. It says press any key, but that's obviously not true, because I pressed the button just for starting the recording. And it did not actually do anything, so let's try a more common key, like space. And that's actually not doing anything. It, it did something earlier. Okay, now I clicked and that worked. Earlier I could get into with space, but I quit out to actually start to record the video. Um, so I saw this already, but not nothing more than this. So, uh, yeah. I'm uh, not sure why this was. Maybe lost focus somehow or something? I don't know. Okay, first thing that is obvious to me is the shadow look at the shadow the shadow's broken the character's floating uh it's a it's a minor detail but stuff like that is so like it's so weird it, it's so it stands out so badly it just looks to makes the game look terrible fix that please thanks uh anyway maybe the game is good anyway let's take a look so there doesn't seem to be a mouse uh no clicking doesn't do anything either so wsd controls um, i think it's about stealing stuff and this is the tutorial there was some sort of intro um, I think you can see it in the trailer as well. There is an, a dot, so I can interact with this. Uh, I, I guess it's keyboard only, so okay. Missions with E, select a mission. Yeah, we could do that. Or we could do online co-op. No, no, we're not going to do that. Well, actually, is there matchmaking, maybe? Create game, join game, somewhat. I mean, now we have mouse control and keyboard is not doing anything. Interesting. <laughs> um, join game. Is this auto matchmaking, or what is it doing? Uh Weird. I'm not sure if it did anything. Now I cannot join anymore. Are uh, strange. Strange. Um not very intuitive UI. Um tutorial, learn the basics. Yeah, let's do that, shall we? Oh, oh it's text. Oh. Oh. It's lots of text. Oh, God damn it! Okay, <laughs> not a great first impression so far. Well, we we didn't arrive at gameplay yet, so uh, I like this this kind of like interactive main menu. Oh yeah, wait, let's take a look at the option menu because there's one. Let's take a look. Uh, settings, toggle stance, V sync. Let's turn that off. Well, actually, for recording, it's not bad to have it on. Um, no sound sliders. Cool. Um, okay. <laughs> well, not cool. Uh, key bindings. Can we rebind? No, there are multiple layouts though. Okay. Uh, w S D control and shift and E stuff E Q F. Wait, there's something on middle mouse. No, there is actually stuff on the mouse. Okay. Uh, well, let's go with keyboard layout one then, shall we? And credits. Okay, option menu is not brilliant. Uh, there's a Unity launcher before you start a game, so you can choose resolution and window mode there. As usual with Unity games, no um, no borderless window mode. Select your characters. So there are multiple characters. You can be blue hair. Oh wait, actually there are multiple blue hair punk girls. <laughs> um sure. Why not? Is that armory select your equipment? Uh okay, let's not worry about that right now. What is this? Some sort of training area? Uh Oh no, it's okay. This is achievements. Uh, I was I was looking if there's a sprint key, but it's actually a walk key. <laughs> Okay, um, so no sprint. Well, there is sprint, but the sprint is a default. Which is not very quick, actually. Change your preferences. Oh, we got it to the setting menu from here. Yeah, I like this interactive menu somewhat. Um, it would be nice to be able to also navigate with it via like a regular keyboard. Uh, menu, not keyboard. Um, which you can for the settings menu, which is good, but not for the other things. Okay, let's let's just go here. Um, scrapyard. Uh, located deep in the urban sprawl, the scrapyard is a nightmare of a place full of rusted junk, rotting engines, and mangled cars. There's danger at every turn. It's long been known to be a front for all manner of dodgy behaviors. So make sure you watch your back. Wait, why would we go on a on a, on a scrapyard to steal something? Maybe it's not about stealing. I'm not sure. Gold mask. Going once, going twice. Big Terry's crew has just returned from successful auction room robbery. They've got their dirty light little mitts on a beautiful statue that used to belong to me. Retrieve it for me, will you? you? I'd be ever so grateful. Okay, so, okay, so because people bring th stuff here, we can steal stuff from them. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Um, let's let's do that. Primary mask of mask, secondary unmarked bonds, 
Bond's dirty money car keys. Loot and Teak challenge take down three guards, disable global alarm, complete primary and undetected. Uh, leaderboard? Global? Is there a leaderboard, leaderboard already? Uh, apparently one guy. <laughs> okay, let's, let's start. Oh, this is... I don't know, the, the menus are a little weird. Um, little, little weird. Okay, I guess we get into the van. And that brings us to the mission. Okay, that's that's a neat touch. I like that. Let's see if the gameplay is actually good. To be honest, from the trailer, it looked like a good idea, but the mechanics looked a little wonky. I'm not sure if that will be the case for playing, but it looked a little wonky at least. So, well, let's find out, shall we? I like stealth games for the most part if they're if they're well done. Um, so maybe. Okay, we're in stealth mode apparently. And um, we now have a mouse. We can shoot and stuff. Uh, shift is making us even slower. And control is actually running now. Okay, interesting. Oh no, control switches the stances. Ah, there we go. Okay. Okay, okay, got it. Um, there seems to be a camera or something. What is this? A robot? Interact. Oh, oh we make sounds. Oh, um. Um. <laughs> um. Um. <laughs> okay. That could have gone horribly wrong. Sneaky, sneaky. Can we can we take him down? I oh, don't. No. Um. Uh. Take down his middle mouse for some reason. Let's do that. Bam. Use body bag. Wait. Oh, he's in a he's in an actually body bag now. Okay, that's cool. Oh, I swapped the weapon. No, let's not do that. I guess you cannot just pick it up. Um, so I guess, like, okay, for game game design perspective, guards will probably ignore it, I assume. Can we hide the body bag in the van or something? Uh, how do we drop it? E? F? No. Um, wait, how do we drop it? <laughs> how do I drop the body? What did I do? Ah! I, I planted the mine or something, I don't know. Uh, let's get out of... Okay, nothing happened. Good. How do I drop the body? Oh, so, okay. Space is throwing grenades. That's... Well, it looks like grenades. I'm not sure. Okay, right click is aiming. How do I fucking drop the body? And what is this? Oh, no. I pressed space again. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Sorry. Um, EQ. Wait. Let's take a look. Options, controls, fire, target, weapon, gear, drop back, Z, okay. Uh, I guess it's American keyboard Z. Yeah, so it's not working well on a German keyboard because the key's somewhere else. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, okay, money, cool, good. Okay, so dropping it back is Z. Well, fine. Um... Can move the camera a bit, not too far. Uh, so it's not a realistic game, uh, stealth game. Um, like you have, you look through walls and stuff. But it seems to like it seems reasonable so far um, from a gameplay, like game design perspective. Can we get in there? Probably not. Probably through the door. The highlighting of objects looks a little weird. Kick door open, pick lock. Okay, let's do that. Hold E apparently. Yeah, hold E. Will the camera catch us? No. <laughs> Barely. Uh, okay, let's open the door. Choop. There's some weird graphical glitches here. The door's fading us. Out. Um, interact. What is this? I'm not sure what I interact with is the problem here. There's something on the, on the thing. Might be a back. Yeah, we got money. Okay, good. There is a weapon here, and we can steal something. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Everything. Everything. No, not everything that is yellow is stealable. Uh, the door was yellow as well, but it seems like stealing from yellow things is a good thing, for the most part. Uh, camera. Ooh, fancy. Wait. What actually? Is, what is this actually doing? Can I press hold E? Oh yeah, I'm hacking the cameras now. Okay, there was a broadcast bar I didn't see. Okay, I turned off the cameras. Cool. Okay, good. Um, that's useful. 
So, bunch of different mechanics already. Nothing felt terrible so far. Now it comes down to level design a lot. I think. So... Hmm... I think we can just sneak over there. It doesn't seem like he's turning around. He will probably come back at some point. Let's get over here. Get an overview situation. Okay, there's another thing I can make noise with. Okay, there he is. Okay, so he's coming back. Uh, we could take him out, but... Okay, I want to test something. I'm going to take him out because I want to see if the AI will actually react to that or if they will not. That's always important for a stealth game. I uh, know they're talking to each other. God damn it. <laughs> I don't get any vision cones except for the cameras, which is interesting. You usually see those in these ga kind of games. And... Well, they have their advantages and disadvantages, so there are points to be taken to uh, for and against them. So let's bring the bag over here. Drop it. And let's see what he does when he comes back. So far, he doesn't notice anything. Okay. Ah, uh, well... <laughs> That's some lazy AI programming there. <laughs> um, these are the kinds of things that break stealth games for me, or make them not fun, I should say, I guess, for the most part. Uh, I really hate this kind of thing. Like, I just can't just take him out and the other guy will not notice. This makes, like, situations less interesting because I just can't handle one guard at a time. I don't have to think about, like, consequences. Um, because there are no con consequences, apparently. Um, I'm, I'm thinking about showing myself to see how that works, but I think that will probably happen in sooner or later anyway, so let's just try to avoid it for now. Probably the best way would to would be to actually take him out. Let's see if I can get to him before he opens the door. Um, well, not quite. Oh, 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 um... <laughs> okay. Uh, so there's another guard. So I guess I have to wait for him to turn around to get through the door. Pretty basic so far. Especially because the guards don't care that others are missing. Okay, there seem to be multiple camera location um, computers because oh, oh, there was some like little arrow or something. I think it was indicating that he is about to see me. So there seem to be multiple camera computers because this camera is not turned off like the others. Okay, he is just patrolling left, right there. Not sure if this game actually benefits from co-op whatsoever. So far it doesn't, or it wouldn't. Um... Where do I go? Guess over here for the moment. Whoop, that was a weird FPS drop. Looks like we can just go in there. <clears throat> oh, there's another one there. Okay, didn't saw that one. Um, should I try shooting? No, it's probably a bad, bad time to do that. That seems like an alarm bell. Oh, there's something under the car. More money. Um, he's coming back and he will not notice or suspect the thing, even though his partner has just gone missing. <coughs> now he's just going inside. Okay. Cool. So... I guess we wait for him to come out again. And then s uh, go in there. Well, maybe take him out when he comes out, actually. I'm not sure how he moves. Let's see. Where do you go? Okay, how good is the... No, 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 no. <laughs> I was, was trying to sneak by, but the vision cone seems to be a little bigger than that. Okay, it's pretty straightforward and rep repetitive so far. 
Not very impressed. Uh, wrong button. Not very impressed so far. Steal more money. Can we interact with that? It looks yellowish, but maybe that's just... Ah, there we go. Some pick up key, okay. Why is that... Why do I need F for picking up the key, but interacting with everything is E? That's... that's weird. <coughs> so I think this is the main objective. Okay, up there is a bottle. And another key. Wait, is he actually getting over here? He is. No! Oh. Well, that's interesting behavior so far. Reinforcement is incoming, okay. Oh! Dup, 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 dup. That didn't go as planned. I w it's it's interesting though, they're just not running for you. They're actually going into cover and stuff. So maybe the fighting AI is actually a bit more better, a bit more, a bit more better, <laughs> a bit better or a bit more clever than the stealth AI. Interesting. Um, seems to have increased my, I don't know, alarm level. To two. But the others just don't care so far. So I guess we're good. Maybe I should just play run and gun instead. <laughs> because that seemed a little bit more fun actually. Uh, than the stealth route. Which is very very basic. I don't even care anymore. Oh! I think they saw me. They did. Let's see if we can confuse him. No, 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 no. We can't. Ah, ah, ha. Okay, space. Uh, that's not That's not what I wanted. Oh, God. Oops. Oh, God. Um, um, let's run. <laughs> oh, hi. Hmm. Wait, was what the Q button? Okay, that didn't work out well, but to be honest, I'm not sure if I want to try again. Like the stealth mechanics were really, really basic. Like really basic. The fighting, I don't know. Maybe it was like would have would I I would have to play more to 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 the comment on the fighting, but at least the AI seemed to be somewhat competent in the combat phase. But holy shit, the stealth was boring. Uh, and that's actually what I would play the game for. So... I don't think I want to play more, to be honest. Well, I'm top of the leaderboard. Oh, no, I'm not. Never mind. Play tonight. Wait, what? What Did it just respawn? Or what did it do? Oh, brought me back. Okay. There's a bunch of equipment. I guess you can go more running gunny. There's a bunch of weapons. What's that? Remote hack gun. Huh. Wait, it looked like there would be like... Maybe, maybe if I click this one. It looked like there were more heavy weapons on the wall, but actually you don't have any... Oh, you have to unlock them. There we go. Okay. Is that a crossbow? It looks like a crossbow. <laughs> hack attempt failed. Mission file locked. Okay gear what is the gear I had so there's a flashbang oh that was the thing I was using in the beginning I think and then there's a noise no no wait that's a noisemaker and that's a flashbang never mind okay 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 what else is there there's a flashbang an EMP grenade a noisemaker frag grenade but you have to unlock that first okay yeah, I don't know. 
I mean, if you're into that kind of stuff, it could be interesting, but to be honest, the stealth, stealth mechanics were so, so freaking basic and repetitive, I'm not gonna bother playing more of this. So, um, yeah, I guess uh, it's called uh, Filthy Lucro or something along those lines. I'm TH Pine. Thanks all for watching, have fun, and see you next time.